how to turn your practice swing and turn it into your game swing. Today, we're gonna talk about that because I see it being a huge issue with a lot of players in today's game. I'm gonna share with you in this video what my dad did to help me to take my practice swing and turn it into a game swing. And I'm also gonna share with you what I'm doing with my players. But before I share with you the story, if you look right here, this is a player that you know, I've been online coaching and as you can see, his swing is very good. I mean, there's some things we're working on right now as far as the bat wrap, as you can see right here. But I mean, he has bat speed for his age and he can hit. Look at that swing. He, it's, he has some lightning hands for his age group. But if you look over here, you'll see that it's a completely different swing. He barely moves his feet and it becomes very handsy, right? Very, very handsy and no lower half at all, right? We're trying to get this swing and change it and get him over here to this swing. So I'm gonna share with you what I shared with him and his dad. I think it's gonna make a big change if you, if you do it, if you apply it. But first, for a limited time, I'm giving away a free swing analysis. So if you're interested in taking your game to the next level, comment below what you're struggling with, and then click the link below and it'll take you to another page where you'll answer a few questions. And if I get back to you, then you won your free swing analysis. In this analysis, I'll tell you exactly what you need to do to take your game to the next level. If this is something you're interested, tell me what you're struggling with below and click the link and let's get started. Let me tell you the story of what my dad did with me. So I was pretty similar to this kid right here and probably you if you're watching this video or if you have a son, I would do the same thing where I would be teeing off in the cage, just hammering baseballs, you know, real confident, loud, having a blast. And then I'll go into the game and I wouldn't have the same energy. I would be shy, I would be timid. It was like two different, completely, uh, two completely different players. And I remember my dad was just thinking like, how can I fix this issue? How can I fix this issue? And so what he did was the first thing was he had a conversation with me. He was just like, hey, you know, what's going through your head? And I was just telling him like nothing. You know, I'm a young kid. I don't say much back. I'm just, you know, saying, you know, I'm good. But, you know, I was shy and timid and maybe even a little scared at times. And he just told me, hey, you don't have to, you know, there's no pressure, um, you know, the difference between practice and the game should be the same thing It's your time. It's just you should be having fun. That's what the game is. Practice should be hard where you're practicing, but you know, we still kind of have fun, but the game should be all your time and you should have fun. There's no pressure on my side. There's no pressure um, at all. You just play your game and enjoy it. And then after we can talk about what we need to do to get better. And that took a little bit of ease off me or a little pressure off me. And that was like the first step to me turning my uh, practice swing into the game. Now, I didn't completely go full force and change my swing at that point, but it was the next thing that really helped me to um, turn my practice swing to um, my game swing. So he kept thinking about, all right, what could I do to help him? What could I do? What could I do? And what we started doing was when we would hit in the front yard with wiffle balls, which I highly recommend you guys do, what he started doing was he started saying he was the player at the time, uh, like the best pitcher at the time. So he'll say he was Randy Johnson, or he said he was Greg Maddox, or he'll say he was um, Clemens, or he say he was, um, you know, the best pitcher during that day when I was growing up. And he would try to do their wind up. And he would say, hey, there's 40,000 fans screaming your name. And then he would say that, you know, he would introduce me. He's like, now batting number one, Jermaine Curtis. And he would like say, you know, the crowd, look at the crowd. Do you hear it? Do you smell the grass? And he put me in that environment. And then he would act like he was the pitcher. And every time I would square baseball up, he'd be pumped, he'd be juiced, and it would became fun. And that right there 
transformed me to uh, taking my swing, my practice swing to the game. Because at that point I was in the game while we were practicing. And I started to really um, stop feeling the pressure when I was actually in my real game. So that's something I've been sharing with a lot of my players and they've been having um, you know, great success. And when I'm practicing with them, that's exactly what I do. I start to imitate the players at right now who they look up to. I'll say, hey, I'm Gary Cole, which I play with Gary Cole. So I talk about him and I share stories about him. And so I'll say, hey, I'm Gary Cole. Don't let me strike you out. And then I'll say, hey, the crowd, you know, is going crazy. Or what I'll also do is I'll put, you know, have them wear, um, ear airpods or you know when i'll put some background music some um noise some crowd screaming and then i'll face them and you know they get into that environment where it's not just practice they're in the game and since i put them in that world they start to feel comfortable when they start doing it themselves on the day to day when they're playing in their normal games so that's a hack right there that's going to help a lot of you guys and you can you can add to this you can be in the front yard with your dad um, if you have a son you can do that or you can also do visual um, things where you look inside of a mirror and you visualize and you listen to music and and stuff like that you can figure out ways to do this but my few keys if i had to explain what you should do is if you're a dad do not put pressure on your kid forget the pressure because they're already feeling the pressure um and see how ways you can minimize that just tell them hey i'm here to support you your time is just to play when it's game time you just go out there and play and you have fun so eliminating that pressure on your side because as a um as a kid you always want to impress your dad and so um, if you just eliminate that right there, then that will go far. And then the second thing I highly recommend you do is start creating this fun environment, practice environment where you start to put them into the situations, games on the line, bases loaded, um, all those things. And I think that really propelled me to going as far as I did in baseball because I became mentally strong. I wanted that at bat because we kept doing this year after year. Every weekend we were doing it. That was our time, father son time in the front yard doing this, visualizing, saying, "Hey, I'm 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 Greg Maddox. Don't let me strike you out. Don't let me do this." And then when I would get a hit, he'd be like, "The crowd is roaring. Do you hear it?" And I'd be pumped up. I'd be juiced. And next thing you know, when the game's on the line, I always wanted to be up at the plate because I was practicing that from the age of five years old that I could um, achieve the success. I could be the person that gets the big hit. And I always wanted to be the person to get the big hit. And I think if you do these things, it's definitely going to um, transform your kid because it's all mental. So you're going to transform how he sees the game and you're going to just blend practice in the game and he's going to take his in-game swing and turn it into his game swing. And, uh, you know, it's going to be great and it's going to be fun to see. So with that said, if you enjoyed this, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here and I'll see you in the next video.